Hi, this is Colin Sandy from Sandy Audiovisual, and uh, we're here to talk about the ATEM Television Studio HD. We are authorized Blackmagic Design resellers, and we're proud to announce that the Television Studio HD is in stock and shipping. In stock, shipping, and right here in the Sandy Audiovisual warehouse. This lovely two-third rack unit device is pretty much everything you'd want in an entry-level switcher. It is taking over for the, from the original uh, ATEM Television Studio, uh, but boy does it pack a punch. It has everything from uh, headphone jack in the front, talk back, um, channel on switches, audio follows video. Let me gain up here a little bit so you can uh, see that right under the AFV switches, you have uh, audio meters, you have these great um, reed switches. Look at that. I mean, just like the uh, expensive uh, Grass Valley switchers or the ATEM uh, control panels. Look at that. Great. Very responsive. Um, there are RGB LEDs in here, so they will change um, white, green, and red depending on its state. Um, a little confidence monitor here showing him here on camera five. Uh, wonderful audio meters, uh, a cut, and auto for your transition there. Uh, jog wheel, um, your aux button. Look at that. That's great. All right, so aux showed white, and then you have your preview and program and, and uh, green and red, respectively. Um, you know, has built-in menus that you can see here. Um, a downstream keyer, um, transition, upstream keyer, color generator, what your aux source is, preview source, program source, uh, your various settings, um, headphones for talkback, etc., audio mixer, media players. This is an awesome device. And Probably the best part of it is that, of course, it, like I said, is currently shipping. Um, on the back here, we have um, your uh, RS-422 port. You know, your remote will actually let this be a playback and record device that's remotely controlled from your ATEM switcher that has a RS-422 um, here you have a serial DB9 port, uh, HDMI inputs, SDI and outputs, uh, SDI inputs and a whole bunch of outputs. Uh, it has, let's square this up so you can get a better look. Uh, it also has uh, your aux out, uh, your reference in, your program out, multi-view out, multi-view HDMI out. Um, Great that you can gen lock this. And of course, your balanced audio. Um, that was a big thing that was lacking from the original television studio was that uh, you had to do a whole bunch of weird things. And a lot of people paired it with a Behringer um, digital to analog uh, audio converter to uh, get sound uh, into their box. But um, here we have it built in and it's great. Uh, this is not passively cooled like the original ATEM, so there is a bit of noise. You'll see it has two fans here on the side, but um, as you can hear, it's a, a nice low pad of rumble and not, uh, not annoying at all. And unlike some other switchers that have come on the market uh, in this price point, uh, sub 1000, um, this keeps cool and doesn't melt down or freeze up on you. It can also be paired with the other things that were announced a few days ago, like the uh, web presenter and the HyperDeck Studio Mini, right? They're both uh, one-third inch of a rack unit, or so one-third of a rack unit. So you can pair them together, right? And then the both units there will take up that 19-inch rack in one RU. So it's a... Um, Great form factor. Uh, you could buy the optional rack mount uh, for these. Right? Uh, these devices I'll talk about uh, in a subsequent video, but uh, they are great 
as well. The, the, everything that was announced last week was just absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. And of course, you can get it as quickly as tomorrow. If you order it from us, you'll get it the next day if you're on the East Coast. So uh, let's see. Uh, one interesting thing, I, I should also give you a pledge and a disclaimer. I'm no longer doing unboxings. Why? Um, primarily, primarily because they're stupid. Um, unless the box is like the apex of material science or it's packaged in such a way that uh, the packaging saves the earth or it's such phenomenal packing I've never seen anything like it before in my life and just have to share it with you, you really don't need to see me or anyone else on the internet, for that matter, open a box. Um, the only thing that I would say that was kind of interesting um, in the various boxes, including the ATEM Television Studio uh, box over here that came in, was this the disclaimer. And it simply says, um, thanks for purchasing this new ATEM Television Studio HD. Unfortunately, when we assembled this new switcher, we had not quite completed the instruction manual, so we have been unable to include the software with this package. To get the latest software and instruction manual, please go to blah, 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 blah. Always a good idea to, of course, update your ATEM the instant you get it. So that's what I'm doing right over here, updating my ATEM software. And while that's going on, we're going to take a little, little trip. Uh, go from the office here to, uh, let's see, oh, get some juice, all right, and we're going to use a, an old MacBook Pro here to um, play with the uh, switcher a little bit, so <clears throat> let's plug her in. Still, well, while it's doing that, um, let me talk about the web presenter a bit. Now, no need to cheap out and just get the, the good old dip switch panel here. You know, and it really is a dip switch panel. Oh, to have fingernails. All right, so as you can see, dip switch settings. That's kind of uncool, especially since, you know, the fancy panel that sort of looks like the panel here on the um, mini hyperdeck. You could get for under 85 bucks, right? And it adds so much more functionality. I'm sure I have one sitting around somewhere. You know, this is still installing, so let's, uh, Let's go take a look, see if we have one of those lovely little panels. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> so the multi-view, as you can see, similar design, right? They're all doing that one-third, uh, one-rack unit form factor, and you can put three of them in one rack unit, and all these uh, Terranex uh, mini form factors can all take that uh, that panel. Let's see. Nope. I probably have it on a shelf somewhere, but no worries. They're all the same. So the, the same uh, um, panel that you'd use for the Terranex mini. I believe it even says it on the, on the bottom of this. If you flip it over, um, it'll say Teranix Mini Smart Panel can override switch settings. All right, so it has a nice diagram on the, on the bottom. If you really don't want to have, or you know, there's actually a good practical application. If you want to scare people from changing settings, you might want to take the panel off. Say if you have it in a house of worship or something, you have a bunch of volunteers, and you don't want them messing with your um, encoder settings, <clears throat> 